What's up, guys? Welcome back, baby. Divine Reptiles, where you know we're about to love on some reptiles. So today, I needed to get out my boy Vader, the dwarf caiman, crocodilian, whatever you want to call it. And I figured, well, let's just make a little video for him because I see a lot of these questions coming up in a lot of the groups I'm in. First of all, let me tell y'all something, okay? I'm a snake dude. I've grown up with snakes, love snakes. I think they're the most beautiful animal on our planet. <laughs> I remember going to Florida when you get to hold these crocodiles, these alligators, you got the mouse tape, you get a little picture, 30 seconds, coolest thing you'll ever see. I never in my life thought I would actually have one in my house, but <laughs> you know what? Here we are, baby. Check this dude out. Woo, what's up, dude? Just like that. And I remember how cool it used to be when I would hold these dudes to take a little picture. <laughs> just like this. The cool thing about them is, man, that honestly, it's just the coolest thing. It is the coolest reptile I have ever honestly thought about owning. But today I want to talk about their food or their diet. Because I see so many people, even like myself, look, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm just your average guy that did a ton of research on these kind of dudes before I got them. And I see a lot of the questions online and I see a lot of in the groups I follow about are they eating? Is this a concern? What do you feed them? What do you do? So I just figured, you know what? I just share what I've done. Not to say that it's perfect or that it works or that it's amazing, but it has worked for me. And it has worked for my boy Vader here. First off, let me tell you guys, these guys, this is a smooth front dwarf caiman. All right, they are very, very shy eaters. Uh, I was actually watching my boy Chandler from Chandler's Wildlife on YouTube where he was feeding everybody and he was feeding all of his uh, crocodiles and his alligators. And he came up to his caiman and he didn't even feed them off the tongs. He just left it on the side and turned around and literally looked at the camera and said, he's a shy eater. That moment right there, for one, for me, was like, all right, cool. I'm not, at least I'm not the only one. So if you think your guys are not eating or whatever the case may be, please understand that they are. They're just shy eaters, and I've had him now for going on about six to seven months. So, and he still hasn't eaten off the tongs, and it is, uh, you got to be like stealthy and sneaky, just like these, uh, these predators here, just to catch him to eat. All right, so I want to go through just a list of things that I have fed this dude since I've had him. I fed him shrimp, which I think was only one or two times. Loved it. Chicken breast, his big thing, raw, obviously. Uh, you got chicken heart, frozen or dead or alive mice. <laughs> so what I mean by that is obviously the frozen is frozen. All right. Then obviously we're breeding mice and sometimes these babies just don't make it. They just don't. So it either goes to, look at that day. Look at, hold on, look at this. He's like posing. He's like, look, hold on, hold on. Get my, get my good side. But he's, he's good right now. I don't feel him building up. Okay. <laughs> but, but obviously the, the, um, the, the dead mice, the, which I mean by that is the babies that just don't make it. You know, sometimes the moms don't nurse them or they, they're fighting for the, the nipples and things like that. So they either go to my friend here or they go to uh, Sparrow the Tegu. And then at the same time, I have some babies. I, I posted a video, which was really cool, uh, of him snacking a baby that actually was kind of like <laughs> skip. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Too much. Too much. Uh, skimming across the top of the water, uh, which was awesome. But I'm going to tell you, I have yet to see this dude eat during the day. So in six to seven months, the only time I can catch him is when we turn everybody's lights off for the night cycle. And I come in and put a flashlight on him where he's out and about. And that seems to be when. So if you want to catch your crocodile eating, I'm telling you, it's at night. Turn everything off. If you come down in the middle of the night, get a drink, get a snack, whatever it is. Put a little flashlight on your caiman and I guarantee you, you're probably going to see him doing some cool things you didn't know he was doing. So I'm here to tell you guys, if, if you get you a dwarf caiman, uh, it seems to be that at least through the cuvier or the smooth front caimans especially, do not get discouraged when you first bring them home. They are just shy eaters. Experiment, play a little bit. I actually will take about, you know, some little pieces. When I say pieces, I'm talking about like a one by one inch square piece of raw chicken breast. And I'll actually set it around his enclosure. I always make the call, right? I'm always like, that's just the noise I make. So he understands 
But I've learned, I take my tongs and I click them on a brick. I just got a brick that holds down his water filter. And that's usually where I put his food, which is funny because here lately, as soon as I make that clicking noise on that brick and I leave and I come back, it's gone. He knows as soon as he hears that, that through the water, that it's, it's, it's crazy. He'll just, he just, <laughs> cameraman if I drop the camera. Hey, hey, it's okay. Look, super quick, super quick. Hey, hey, relax. Relax, relax, big dog. This is a bit, a little bit longer than he likes to, to be handled, which is all right. I'm not going to hold him too much longer. Um, but don't get discouraged. He does. It comes right back to that brick and, uh, and he'll tag it. And so what I've started to do is I've left it around his enclosure, kind of over on his basking spot, a couple other places on the water. And it's cool to watch him do it. Also, what else I've been doing here lately is I've been buying goldfish. And I'll understand this. I do not have an oxygenator is that right? It is enclosure. So these fish have no, no oxygen, but I'm telling you, goldfish are some troopers, baby. Them things will live. Um, and I've been counting them. And, you know, just the other day there were 10, and I've come back today, and I've counted there's five. And so I don't know if they're dying and he's eating them off the top or if, if they just happen to swim by them at night and he, <laughs> and he, and he eats them as they, they come by. I'm not really sure how it's working, but they are <laughs> surely disappearing just another thing uh, to try just put some goldfish in the water and, and see what happens some obviously some feeder goldfish but guys i'm telling you look how beautiful this dude is right i mean you know and just so you know this is about as long as as he likes to be <laughs> dealt with at the moment which is fine but you know what he hasn't tried to bite he just gets irritated and you can tell uh he's had enough which is not a problem so we're gonna cut this short Guys, I hope this has helped a little bit for anybody that might be discouraged or just wants to see a beautiful dinosaur in somebody's hands that feels blessed to hold him. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to put Vader back. All right, all right, big dog. All right, there you go. Get back in your little water bowl. There you go. I like putting him in here. It's just a good place to get him out of uh, when I do these things. And guys, I hope you enjoyed it, man. I hope you learned a little something. If not, I hope you just enjoyed. Like I say, man, your average dude with a dinosaur in his house never thought it would happen. Love reptiles, love wildlife, and enjoy your day. And until next time, you know the drill. I'll see you.